One of the, the new accessories that we've just worked with, and they're, they're, they're super popular right now, especially in the MIDI forums, is something called the CME Witty Master. Okay, so this is the Witty Master. So the nice thing about the Witty Master, if you've used MIDI Bluetooth devices, you know kind of how they work. They're just these two MIDI plugs. You know, you got your five pin MIDI outputs or inputs. Um, they plug into any MIDI device that supports that. Most of these days, some are USB powered. Um, and there are actual, uh, CME does have some uh, products that you can use for that. But this is the Witty Master. And there's a couple of things that make this different than a regular um, MIDI uh, Bluetooth adapter. Uh, the first thing that's kind of cool is, you know, just like other adapters, you can plug one side in and the other side in, um, but it's powered from the MIDI jack, okay? The output from your keyboard is going to power this because there's always voltage running through the, the MIDI cable. Um, but the cool thing is, is that you can unplug this one and just use the MIDI output of your device instead of having this hanging around. So um, with my synth here, I don't have a MIDI input on my synth, there's, or my, my MIDI controller, there's no reason to, it's just a MIDI controller. Um, so if I'm not using that input, I can just unplug it. And so I have that plugged in here, you can see right here, just like that, pop that in. Now this, this controller does come with like a little USB dongle. You can use that with your laptop. I like using this because then I can, whether I'm using an iPad or any device that supports Bluetooth MIDI, I can just connect to it instead of requiring a USB port, which my Mac doesn't even have. So I gotta use a dongle and everything. So um, really super easy just to plug that in. You know, I'm just gonna turn this on. This runs off a of battery, uh, which is cool. All right, just lights up, mm. runs off some batteries. Um, and then uh, it might be hard to see, but this dongle is turned on. There is a little blue light turned on there. You can see it. Um, and so that means it's ready to connect. So let me show you how you connect uh, to this uh, Witty Master uh, in OnSong. Um, so what I'm gonna do is tap on that gear icon in the upper right corner. Uh, I'm gonna go down to my tools. This is the fastest way to get to it right now. Uh, and then just tap on Bluetooth MIDI and then in a few seconds, our device should show up. So then I'm just gonna tap on Witty Master and let it connect. Go through the pairing prompts and we're connected. And what that means now is I can uh, use my keytar uh, either to do something in OnSong or I can use it with other apps. Uh, but I'm just gonna show you real quick in OnSong something here. Uh, I'm just gonna go into editors and go into MIDI. This is sort of like a shortcut way to get into the same thing that you can get to in the actions menu. But OnSong uses this thing called MIDI triggers, which means that we're gonna take input from the MIDI device and we're gonna assign an action to it. So I could just take, I don't, I'm just gonna like push a drum pad here. There we go, I don't know, that's note C1. And it comes in, it's, it's evidently set up to channel 10. Um, I can tap it again. Again, I just pushed on the pad on the keytar, and I can assign an action to that. So I'm just gonna real quick here, pick this, these three lines and go down to the user interface and just show you, I'm gonna toggle low light mode. This is just a visual thing that I'm gonna do. Um, and so if I close that and I just tap on this button, it's gonna switch my, my iPad to different uh, colors and stuff like that, you know? The other thing about the Witty Master um, that I wanna talk about real quick it's really cool. They actually sent us two of these to demo. And one of the things you can do with these is you can just plug them in, like plug this into like one device and plug the other into the other device. And it will actually automatically connect the two. Really? Like, like just a MIDI, like an invisible MIDI cable. There's, it's no, you don't have to do anything. Like two, two key tires could be set up together? Yeah, like, like you could plug this into the back of your keyboard yeah. and then plug that into like something else and it will like automatically create a link between the two devices, which is pretty cool. Wow. So we, we just want to thank CME for um, this cool product. Um, but they also have another product that you can check out called the Witty Jack. Witty meaning, you know, wireless MIDI, obviously. Um, the Witty Jack uh, is like this, um, except you can plug different connectors into it. So. Uh, if you're using a five pin MIDI, you can use it for that. And they also have one um, for the analog signals that some synthesizers use as well. So um, they're making some pretty innovative products.